Yeah, guys, good evening. Let me be the first to tell you this technology is pretty cool. The way it works is your face essentially becomes your boarding pass and your identification. You can lose the paperwork if you want to. And they tried this system out here at LAX tonight on a group of passengers that were getting ready to fly to England. And based off everything we saw, it really did seem to speed the process up. And most of the passengers we talked to really seem to approve of this new technology. Take a look. The process is a simple one. Just walk up and look right into the camera. What do you think about it, sir? Very good, thank Pretty you. Cool. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> These passengers traveling to London played the part of guinea pigs at LAX Thursday night. They were testing out a state-of-the-art biometric facial recognition system, which uses your face as your boarding pass. And that is a fantastic invention to be able to do that, to be able to come into America and to go straight through with the eye and facial to come in through the customs. I don't, I don't mind. I don't know if it's, if it's for security, it's fine. If it's for anything else, I really don't care as long as it speeds it up. Mm -hmm. You can't lose your face. Your face is with you regardless wherever you go. I would imagine in any one day, several people will lose their boarding passes. It's all part of a pilot program between LAX, CBP, and British Airways. They all believe this system will be faster and more secure. This is cool for us because this is technology that's going to increase security, advance the passenger experience. Everybody's going to be happy. Fred Fisher is senior director at Vision Box, the company behind the technology. Every face is every face is different. So from a biometric match, we look at point to point on your on your face, and uh, no two are identical worldwide. You can't spoof the system with a mask or a photo or anything like that. This is 100% secure. CBP tells me the technology uses the photos they already have on file for people, usually passports, and that every single photo is encrypted. Each face has its own unique number. As far as I'm concerned, sir, the more the better, and the better security that we can put universal, the better it can be for all of us. Is this the future? This is definitely the future. We see it today in Aruba, soon in Amsterdam, Australia, Dubai, around the world. This is the future. So a few things to point out about this. If this is too much Big Brother for you and you don't want to participate, don't worry. It's not mandatory. It's just an optional uh, optional sort of thing if they end up getting this thing up and running. Now, I did ask uh, the, de the designer of this technology about any possible security issues in terms of, hey, can these photos, can this information be hacked? He said it's not very likely because everything they're collecting is going to the federal government. It's going to be stored in CBP servers, and he says those are borderline impenetrable. Uh, he said says that the software is 97.5% effective in terms of matching face to face and that they hope to have this technology up and running in all airports here in America within the next four years or so. We're live at LAX tonight, Bill Malugin, Fox 11 News.